Hello students, my name is Vineet and you are welcome to Aglesen School. Today in this video, I will be explaining exercise number 4.5 of chapter 4 which is basic geometrical idea. So let's move on to the question answer of this exercise. So the question is, draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral PQRS. Draw diagonals, name them. Is the meeting point of the diagonal is in the interior or the exterior of the quadrilateral? So let's have the answer of this question. First question is, you have to draw a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a polygon which has four sides. Name it P, Q, R and S. Now diagonals are the point from this point and this. This is the diagonal of this quadrilateral. The other diagonal is so basically diagonals are the line segment whose end points are the opposite sides of a quadrilateral. So this is diagonal. Name of the diagonals are P, R and Q, S. So these are the diagonals. Okay. Now this is the meeting point of the diagonal and which is in the interior of the quadrilateral. So the meeting point of the diagonals is in the interior of the quadrilateral, not hit at the exterior of the quadrilateral. Second question, draw a rough sketch of a quadrilateral K, L, M, N and state Let's draw it first and then we'll go one by one. Okay, K, L, M and N. So the first part is two pair of opposite sides. We have to name uh, the A part, okay? Two pair of opposite sides. So the opposite sides are KL and NM also KN and ML okay so these are the two pairs of opposite sides B part is two pairs of opposite angle B part two pairs of opposite angle so angle K and angle M are opposite to each other and angle N and angle L are opposite to each other. Two pair of adjacent sides C part two pair of adjacent sides are KN and KL also NM and ML also KL add LM plus now we have right NM okay ML this this from we have started from KN and KL now coming from this place NM and ML and from this ML and KL okay so these are the answer B part two pair of adjacent angle we have to write two pairs now so here you can uh, actually remove this too so your answer can be this I have written one more just for the ease of your understanding okay two pair of adjacent angle so angle K and angle N and angle L and angle M. So these are the two pairs of adjacent angle. So the third question is investigation. You have to do it yourself. Use strip and fasteners to make a triangle and a quadrilateral. You have to use the strips to make quadrilaterals and triangles. Then what you have to do? You have to try to push it inward at one vertex of the triangle. Do the same with the quadrilateral. Uh, let me explain what you have to do with the figure. Let's, uh, this is quadrilateral you have made and this is a triangle A, B, C. What you have to do? You have to push from one vertex, any vertex you want, from this place and from this you can also. In the triangle you have to do the same and in the quadrilateral you have to do the same. So the other part is 
Is the triangle distorted? Is the quadrilateral distorted? Is the triangle rosette? Why is it that structures like electric towers make use of triangle shapes, not quadrilateral? So after doing this experiment, this uh, investigation, you will find that the triangle is not distorted, but the quadrilateral is distorted from this place. Okay, it will be going in backward direction, but this will not because the structures like triangle are rigid, and that is the reason why the electric towers are made of triangle shape, not a quadrilateral shape, because of their rigidity. Okay. So that's it from this exercise and I hope this video will really help you all in completing your exercise. Like this video and share it with a friend and do not forget to subscribe to Aglasem School so that you can never miss any video from us. We will be back with next chapter. Till then, bye.